Hello, Caleb Danzi here with Danzi Design Build and today I wanted to welcome you to our basement finishing cost guide video series. And today is our first video of the series, which is budgeting. What is budgeting for your basement finish? Why is it important? And how do we budget for basement finishes? So budgeting for your basement, what is it? The first thing that is important to do is establish the total all-in cost that you are looking to invest into your home in your basement finishing project. Once you have that number established in your mind, it's important to share that information with the design builder who is going to be working with you to design your basement and then complete the construction portion of the work as well. And the reason it's important to share that information with them is because it puts you on the same page from the very beginning of the project, right on the very front end. So that from there, what can be discussed and what can be planned and budgeted is actually going to be uh, feasible for your budget and meet your expectations. So it's, it's super important to do that right from the very beginning. And the, the next thing is the, the actual budget, how we do our budgeting. So. When we have a customer that comes to us, let's say this, this customer has a, an $80,000 budget that they're looking to work with to finish their basement. From there, we can establish the square footage of the basement and the elements that they're looking to have included in, in their basement. So in this example, let's say that they have a basement that's 1,000 square feet and they have a they'd like to turn it into an apartment to, to rent out. So they need to add a, a exit or a basement walkout entrance to the basement, and then a full kitchen, a full bathroom, a laundry room, and the bedrooms and living room. So with all of those elements, what we can do is we can look back at our historical costs of projects we recently completed in the area and see what those kitchens, bathrooms, walkouts, um, any load bearing walls that you're potentially looking to have moved. What have those items costed us recently? And then we can have those discussions and, and look into seeing what will fit in the budget and what's more important to you to have in there um, in case the budget isn't enough to do everything at once. So we can make those decisions up front and then from there, we can look at other kitchens. You know, if you're looking to have a very similar layout, similar level of finish in the kitchen to a similar project we've just completed, we, we have those costs and we know what those costs are. And so we can apply those costs to your project. So let's say that the kitchen that this potential customer is looking to have is a $25,000 kitchen in their basement. We can, we can say, okay, well, if your total budget is 80,000 and this kitchen is 25, that leaves us with a uh, $55,000 uh, budget to do the, the rest of the finishes and elements that you're looking to include. And if they're looking to move a load bearing wall, maybe that's gonna cost $5,000 or, or $10,000, depending on the complexity um, and what the engineer will require us to do for, for the given situation, then we would subtract that from the total number that we're left with. So once we get all the elements that you'd like to have included, we're left with the, um, the number, the rest of the money budgeted basically. So, so in our example, we have $80,000 total and then the $25,000 kitchen, that brings us to $55,000. And then a, let's say a $5,000 load bearing wall that needs to be moved or addressed in some way. So, so that would leave us with that $50,000 budget for the, the rest of the basement. And, and let's say they have a, a bathroom that's in there, maybe that's a $15,000 bathroom. So we're at 50, 40, 35, that leaves us with $35,000 to do the rest of the basement. And so basically that's how we work to budget what we'd like to have included in the in the project and what those things are going to cost and then when we get down to um the thirty five thousand dollars in this example is what we have to do the rest of the, the finish 
then we can establish, you know, what type of finishes those are going to be. Are those going to be, you know, a more basic, an average, or a luxury level finish based on your budget to then do the, the flooring. You know, carpet, there's a wide variety of carpeting and other floorings. Uh, some carpet can be as little as $10 or other carpet can be as much as $120 um, per square yard. And so that's a wide range. And so basically when we're left with that money, which in this example is $35,000, we can calculate what we, what we will have for the square footage that's left and, and basically establish the level of finish that, that you can get in that square footage at that price point with those elements in your basement, like kitchens, bathrooms, walkouts, load bearing walls, theater rooms, and those kind of other things like those. So that's how we do our budgeting and that's how we arrive at the total cost to, um, we arrive back at the total cost to finish the basement. So we would start with the, the budget, the $80,000 in this example, we would budget all the different items and then at the end, end up with the, the same bu budget that we started with to make sure that what we're designing, what we're planning on putting into plans is actually going to work for your, your budget in the end. And the benefit to doing budgeting this way is that basically what ends up being in the drawings is going to be affordable and work for your budget that you have. We've seen it in the past where we have a customer who comes to us They've already put a lot of time and money into having either an architect or a draftsman draw some plans for their, their basement finish. And then they, they have us produce a, a price through our pre-construction agreement. We will go through and price those plans that have been created previously. And, and the budget, unfortunately, is a lot less than the actual cost to complete what is in those drawings. And so we can lower the level of finishes, you know, putting in um, less expensive flooring, trim, paint, and those kind of things. But it gets to the point where we can't take out enough money out of the level of finishes to finish the entire square footage and keep those elements like kitchens, bathrooms, and, and so on. So it, basically we have to take those elements out like the kitchen or the bathroom or reduce the square footage and it, it complicates the design process and the planning on the in the plans. So it's it's just really good to to do that from the beginning, set the budget up and then draw the draw the plans to reflect that budget. And that's one of the benefits of working with a design builder who works with these plans and, and is working in basement finishing every day and who is well familiar with the costs of what these different things are going are going for in, in the market that we're in at any given time. So that's a little bit of how we do our budgeting. And in our next video, we'll be talking about the actual plans and design, what it costs to produce those plans and how long it takes to produce the plans and then any design elements that go into that process as well. We'll, we'll go over those as well in our next video. So we hope you've enjoyed this today and thank you for your time today. Have a great, wonderful rest of your day. See ya.